Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review, first impressions, comparison video. It's going to be between the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, the liquid foundation, and the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick foundation. I actually have two of the Ultra HD liquid formula, but as you can tell, this one is a little dark. So I'm going to go with this one that is probably a little closer to my skin tone, which is the Y375. And for the stick formula, I'm going to go with the Y405. This is how they look like in comparison. This is how the stick formula looks. You just twist it and you're going to be applying it that way. And the liquid formula just has a pump. The liquid formula comes with 1.01 fluid ounces and the stick formula comes with 0.44 ounces. In terms of the price, these are actually both $43, whether it's the stick formula or the liquid formula. So I really wanted to do this for you guys so that you can see which one benefits maybe you or if either or or if none. So the way that it's going to work is I'm going to be applying the liquid formula on one side and the stick formula on the other just so that you can see the differences, the similarities, if one's thicker, if one isn't if one's a lot thinner. I'm actually pretty curious to see if I like one formula better than the other. So let's get started. So first I'm just gonna be applying a pump or two on the Mikasa F300 brush on this side, just to see the difference. The color looks actually pretty, pretty solid. I didn't apply any primer just to see how well it covers, you know, just so I won't be cheating a little bit. With a beauty blender, I'm just gonna dab it in just to see how well it covers. I actually tried both of the colors and I really like the Y375 a lot better. The other one's a little bit too dark. So that's how two pumps look. I'm actually gonna apply one more coat just to see how well it covers. I'm just testing it out, okay? So, and I'm applying a bit. I think it looks a lot better with like three coats. It's a little bit sheer but you can definitely keep adding and it matches very very well this is three coats of the liquid formula so i'm pretty happy with that i'm pretty impressed and i like that it can actually look really really natural now i'm just gonna be applying the stick formula on this half of the face and the cool thing about this one that i like is i can actually just dab it on and then just blend it with a damp beauty blender or whatever i have around so let's see how this works i'm just gonna be applying it like this very very convenient this color really suits me now i'm just gonna be blending it with my damp beauty blender from what i can tell just by blending it a bit is that this one already looks a little bit like if it covers more or it can also be that because it's a stick formula it actually applies more at once as opposed to the liquid really really loving this i feel like it also might last longer the stick formula okay can you guys tell the difference? I can see a little bit of a difference. I'm gonna add a little bit more just to see what it does, if it gets cakey or not, you know. We're testing it out here. I've never tried this. I'm also really, really curious, so I'm just gonna be applying a bit more. I'm really loving this stick formula, you guys. Let me drag it down. It looks a little bit more dewy on this side also. Can you tell that it, it looks dewier on this side? I have combination skin, so I feel like I can pull it off a little bit. Or you can definitely set, you know, your foundation. I set my foundation all the time. So here's the difference. This is the stick formula right here. As you can tell, it looks a little bit more dewy, a little bit more glossy. It does look like it covers a little bit more. And I I don't think it looks cakey at all. I really don't. I don't I don't think it looks cakey. I think it looks pretty normal, pretty everyday. You can definitely use this foundation on an everyday basis. This is the liquid side. It looks a lot more matte. It definitely covers, but this is already three pumps that I did. What do you guys think? Which one do you prefer? Now I'm just gonna quickly go and apply the rest of my makeup just so that we can see the difference between the two. So I'm back with the rest of my makeup on and I literally only put concealer, bronzer, and a liquid matte lipstick and that was it. I did set my under eye because I always have to, but I didn't set the rest of my foundation because I really wanted to see how it looks like with everything put together but I didn't really notice a difference between both of the foundations now that I have everything on my face one thing for sure that I really noticed and I noticed even when applying the foundation is that one remains a little bit more dewy there's a little bit more shininess on the stick formula as opposed to the liquid formula it's pretty matte and I do have combination skin so 
It does look a little bit, a little bit different, but that is it. I mean, the colors actually look pretty similar as well, so I was really happy about that. I love that it's very buildable. I don't really suggest if you are oily for you to get this one because you can even see that it's just a little bit shinier than the liquid formula. So that's my suggestions if you are oily. Don't go for this one. And if you do, maybe try a sample or something just so that you won't spend that money that might not fit your skin type. I'm really impressed with the brand and the formula. This was actually the first time that I've tried any Makeup Forever foundation. So now I know how it feels like. I know that it's good. I'm gonna keep on buying and whether you decide to buy either the liquid or the formula They're both the same price at the end of it I really think it just is about what you prefer whether a stick formula or a liquid formula The stick formula is definitely gonna be very travel friendly and you can definitely put it in your purse It might melt, but at least it's not gonna like, you know spill. I hope you guys really enjoyed this first impression review comparison of these foundations because I really wanted to show you guys the difference between the two or whether they even had a difference and I'm pretty impressed. I had so much fun trying to figure out if one was better than the other. I'm the type of person that when I go to shop I want to know what is the best thing for that price and now I feel like you guys have a little bit more information whether to get the liquid or the stick formula and that makes me happy. So if you like this video or these types of videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't. Bye guys!